grow, man. All right. So this is Jeremy Shirley, Regional Entertainment News. Be sure you like, share, and subscribe because we've got a special guest with us, Roman Alexander. He's hitting Downstream Casino August 12th, opening up for Sam Hunt. What's up, Alex? Hey, buddy. How are you? Pretty good. You know, I was enjoying your music. Um, you're coming out. You're opening up for Sam Hunt. What's that experience going to be like? Uh, cool, man. I, you know, Sam's one of the first guys that really uh, inspired me right when I was in high school is when Montevallo came out. So I was probably a sophomore in high school. So uh, that alone was kind of the start for me as far as like songwriting going goes. I mean, Montevallo was so revolutionary in itself. So, um, you know, I, I got to know the guys in Sam's band pretty well over the years here in Nashville. And so uh, it's cool to be able to uh, finally cross paths and be able to play a show together. We had the same booking agent. And so uh, it, it, uh, it'll all work out. It'd be cool. That'd be good. I'm excited to see you. I know lots of talk in the area and then on social media, fans are excited to see you as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. I, I think it's going to be packed out, just my personal prediction. So, Yeah, I think it's going to be a sold-out show. Um, I also want to talk about you have your EPs, you have Between You and Me, and you have the acoustic version. Can you give us a little quick recap on that? Yeah, so the acoustic one came out after, um, obviously, just because, you know, we wanted to kind of keep things alive uh, after the momentum, you know, starts to die off a little bit just from the EP out of fear, but it didn't. No, the EP is still rolling really strong and streaming great. So uh, we released the EP back in November. Um, and from day one, I mean, cocktail conversations between you and me have been like rocket ships that have just taken off. And uh, we were like, hey, why not just release an acoustic version? And then we have the version with Ashley Cook uh, that came out right after. So um, it's been uh, it's been pretty awesome. It's been life changing so far. I got to say, whenever I listen to cocktail conversations, it sounds so much like Billy Currington, the inspiration there. And I love listening to that song. Yeah, he's a. Uh, I'm not going to say he, he was the biggest inspiration of it, but he, I'm, I'm not going to say he wasn't. He's a big inspiration for sure. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to cover a few of his shows, and I'm just the way he interacts with the crowd and listening to your song is amazing. Well, man, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Billy and just everything that he does. Um, so, yeah, that's a huge compliment. So thank you. Um, on your album, how many um, guitars? I know some people will have two or three backups or have to use so many different guitars for uh, these albums. How many did you go through recording? Not many. I mean, um, there was a, a couple Martins that were used, uh, you know, triple O's, uh, you know, D18s, D22s. Uh, but the main one was J45 for Gibson. So um, we uh, we kept it pretty light. We our, our recording style is pretty tra not traditional. It's a little it's a little off. I mean, we, we work in a in a room at the office and then uh, my producer's office, and then from there we we just kind of uh, will add things in. So some days it's a different guitar than others. Okay, um, I want to say we're both Missouri boys. Uh, you grew up outside Kansas City. When you go back to Kansas City, do you have favorite venues that you like to play at, like the Midland or like revisiting? Yeah, I mean, definitely Power and Light for sure is is my favorite place. Uh, that the KC Live stage is um, some of my favorite sound in the whole city. Yeah, we go up there. So, and for stuff. Yeah, it's a great place. How far? How far is it? If I'm not mistaken, probably what two hours? Uh, from Joplin, if we're going to Overland Park, two. If we're going downtown Kansas City, two and a half. Two and a half. It's not bad at all. Um, I also want to say a lot of artists now will carry their cell phone because it's with them every day. Do you take, uh, do a tape recorder, pen and paper, or how do you save all your ideas that come to you? If I'm lucky enough to capture them, uh, definitely use my phone. Uh, definitely use my phone if I can. I try to like, or I'll hum something in my phone or whatever it might be, wherever it might be. It's, it could be at the weirdest places. Um, but man, I haven't used a pen and paper in a while. But if it's around and I need, I don't have my phone, then yeah, I resort to a pen and paper. Uh, I'm, I'm old school whenever I'm doing music, so I always do the pen and paper, and then I try to do a cell phone if I can. Yeah, that is uh, – it, either way, they both work great. I mean, I used to carry a notebook with me, and I still do. It's in my car, um, but I haven't touched it in, in, a, in a while. You know, when you work in these writing rooms in Nashville, you, you end up just being able to uh, um, rely on somebody else's phone sometimes. So if I'm like, hey, save that idea, then they'll record that idea for me, so – that's pretty cool. Uh, we have a, we have another thing in common for us. Um, both of us, uh, Elvis is inspiration for us, you and me. Yeah. Uh, or do you plan on releasing any of covers for his uh, this year or next year? Man, that's not in, that's not in the in the plan. Uh, I'm not opposed to it. Um, 
not something I planned on. That's a great idea, actually. I am a huge Elvis fan. Yeah, so I, I've done something where I, in each of my songs, I put Elvis references. And at least on the Between You and Me EP, I put some Elvis references in there. So, like, Beautiful Girls, you got a hunk of burning love. And uh, Girl Trouble, you got, uh, uh, you know, uh, Elvis Presley saying about you. You got Cocktail Conversations, I'm an Elvis fan, and my granddad was one too. Like, those those kind of references in the song make a big difference. So, I noticed that on the things. I tried to look at some of the interviews and conversations and then try to put that into our conversations because we have, you and me actually have a lot in common. Um, oh, that's who- awesome. Yeah. Um, who is your favorite co-writer to work with? Man, uh, Jerry Flowers and Jared Kime. I have two. Those are my two favorites. Um, they're equally just as great because they're both my producers. And so um, they work fantastic together. So they're, they're my favorite co-writers. Um, when we're uh, doing this interview, when people are going back and they're going to watch it, we, um, let the listeners know who you are. And we also want to let them know what your goals are for 2021, 2022, if you can release any of that. Yeah, uh, my goals for for this the rest of this year at least. Um, you know, last year was kind of a crapshoot, but this year I think we're we're able to get back on the road and start touring, and live music's able to come back alive. So, um, you know, I, I think just touring is the main thing, making up for some of the ground we lost last year. You know, getting giving my guys, my band, the opportunity to go out back out and make some money, um, and as well as being able to let fans see a good show that isn't going to cost them a fortune to go see. So that, that's a, uh, that's a big thing for me. Just being able to build that momentum, keep releasing new music. New music is coming very soon, very soon. Um, and then, you know, just touring my butt off and then the same thing next year, new music and and more touring and, um, hopefully a radio single next year. Nice. Um, basically we'll do a recap. This is with Roman Alexander. He's going to be downstream casino August 12th. Make sure you get those tickets. The show is going to sell out. He's opening up for Sam Hunt. And then also check out Roman World. People are going to find you on social media. How are they going to reach out to you? Instagram is probably the best way to reach me. Um, and then you can also find me on TikTok. I, I just have, at Roman Alexander right. Music. Nice. And then also on your website, too, if they want to subscribe to you. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Always.